Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little video for you today, just giving you a heads up if you own the DJI Avada, there was a firmware update for it today, and it adds a couple really interesting new features. Now this is not going to be a test flight video, I do hope to do that later today if the weather permits, but yeah, let's just go over what has been added. So you can see the aircraft firmware is now version 01.02.0000. And the goggle firmware is now version 01.03.000. If we take a look at the release notes there, you can see it's added support for remote ID. It's added the ability to detect abnormal attitude and brake automatically when the aircraft turns sharply at a high rate of speed with an altitude of more than 5 meters in manual mode. So that's kind of interesting. It's added the ability to cancel the countdown for a little battery return to home by using the break button. Next there you can see it's added some new frame rates and resolutions. The next item there it says it's added the ability to transfer data from the internal storage of the Avada over to the memory card. So if you have files stored on the internal memory, you can easily transfer them over to the memory card now. Another interesting thing that they've done here is they've added the ability to set the sharpness and noise reduction parameters. We've seen DJI recently add that feature to other drones as well, so it's kind of nice it's now on the Avada. But the really interesting one here is you can see that it's improved Desyn Lake now to 10-bit color. So that's actually pretty incredible. And lastly, it just says optimize flight stability in some scenarios. So I wonder if that has to do with uh, the drone falling that some people were experiencing. And lastly, optimize the video transmission fluency in broadcast mode. So yes, definitely some really interesting updates. Uh, that 10-bit color is really nice because the Vada actually has a pretty good camera on it. Most of the time, that's what I'm capturing with. I'm not putting any type of other camera on it. And the ability now to capture in 10-bit and then paired with the gyro float, you can get some really incredible footage. Now, another interesting update is that the Goggles 2 and the FPV Controller 2 are now compatible with the original Air Unit. We've seen some videos over the last week with some beta firmware, but it is now officially released to everybody. So if you own any kind of FPV drone with an Air Unit in it, and I think the Vistas, but I'm not sure, I'll have to test that out, you'll now be able to fly them with the Goggles 2 and the Controller 2, which is actually quite nice. The only thing it does state in the release notes that if you do update the firmware of your air unit, you can only fly them with the Goggles 2 and the new Controller 2. You will not be able to fly them with the V1 goggles or the V2 goggles or the original FPV controller, that big black one. So that is something very important to keep in mind before you decide to upgrade. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at where some of these new settings are located. So I've got the goggles on and I'm going to do a screen recording so you can see. So we'll go into settings and the first one should be under camera. If we go all the way down to the bottom, the first one we'll take a look at here is, uh, oh there it is there. You can see it says data transfer from aircraft storage to micro SD card. You can see if we click on that, it just gives us a very simple dialogue to transfer. And uh, yeah, that's all you have to do there. Now the next feature we'll take a look at is to adjust the sharpness and the noise level. Get back out of there. And what we have to do is go to advanced camera settings. We'll click on that. And you can see here, there's our sharpness level. You can set it from one, two, zero, negative one, and negative two. Let's go out of there. And then there's our noise reduction. We can set it from zero, one, negative one, and negative two. And then if we go up right above that, that's how we can set our desyn lake if you want to make use of the 10-bit color. We just click on that, and then we'll set it down to desyn lake. And now we'll be recording in desyn lake, a flat color profile, but 10-bit color. So definitely a really nice update for the DJI Avada. This has quickly become one of my all-time favorite drones. I really enjoy flying it. Well, folks, that's basically it for this quick video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.